In today's video, we're going to be doing a head-to-head -head between the CYC Photon Gen 1 versus the CYC Photon Gen 2. Let's get into it. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the differences between a Gen 1 Photon and a Gen 2 Photon. There's eight main differences. Number one, the weight and dimensions. Number two, the motor redesign. Number three, the Sprat clutch overhaul. Number four, easier maintenance and modular design. Number five, expanded chain ring options. Number six, upgraded electronics. Number seven, advanced display options. Number eight, power torque and battery flexibility. All right, number one is weight and dimensions. Let's weigh the Photon Gen 1 first, and then we'll go to the Photon Gen 2. So the Photon Gen 1, um, comes to six pounds and six ounces. So now for the Photon Gen 2, I'm just measuring the body, uh, which is the body and the controller, the motor and the controller. Uh, this one comes in at about seven pounds and almost 14 ounces. So it's a little over a pound and change heavier than the Gen 1. Number two, we're gonna talk about the motor redesign. So the Gen 2 has, motor has been completely redesigned internally. The Gen 1 was an outrunner motor. This is an inrunner motor. The difference being that the outrunner has a outside shell that rotates to spin the motor. And when this one, it has an inside uh, rotor that spins and then there's a shaft on the other side and that's how you spin the motor. Um, the benefit of having an inrunner motor is it runs uh, with a higher efficiency and it has uh, better cooling. And the benefit of having an outrunner motor is uh, you can get more power out of a smaller footprint. That's why the Gen 2 is a larger motor. The Gen 2 also has flat wiring uh, in the stator. So there's more copper uh, per square inch inside of here than you know if, we, if they had used round copper wire. So with more copper being inside the motor, uh, that results in uh, better heat dissipation uh, under heavier loads. Um, also, the motor is potted in thermal epoxy, which also results in better heat dissipation. So item number three is the Sprague clutch overhaul. So one of the pain points and points of failure, which happens sometimes, not all the time, but happens sometimes on the Gen 1 was the Sprague clutch would go out. Um, so what CYC did was overhaul completely the Sprat clutch and made it much larger so it can handle three times the torque. So that leads me into number four, um, which is the redesign of the motor so it's easily serviceable. Um, one of the pain, another pain point for the Gen 1 was it wasn't very serviceable and you had to glue in the controller and it was, it was messy for customers, right? So they had to send in their kids and we had to um, service them, which is not a problem, but it was just inconvenient for our customers. With the Gen 2, it's very easily serviceable. I'm going to open the motor and we're going to get into it. To open it, it's very simple. Just take a three millimeter key. Take this bolt out right here. So, and then you take the other screw, one screw out from there and then the other one's on the other arrow. So you take that one out. So now that both of the screws are out, you just have to put in the chain ring over. Should be able to get it out by hand now. Okay. Then that should pop up. And then you need a four millimeter he uh, hex. sure if they're gonna come out with a nice holder like they did for the gen 1 but it would be very nice if they did um, at least the dealers had it it was a nice holder so to take the chain rings out and stuff it was very useful but I guess this time the chain ring won't be as hard to take out so hopefully you may not need it So 
that simple. So if you're gonna change the controller, that's pretty much it. Put in a new controller and you're good to go. So a great thing about this is the whole controller is potted and there's no gasket or anything like that. In the first gen, there was a liquid gasket that you had to cock around the seal and it got messy. So this is a great upgrade. And then to take the motor out, you just pull it on the other side, just shimmy it a little bit and it will come out. There's a rubber gasket on there. And you could see how big the gear assembly is. The clutch is inside there. So this is the Photon 1 assembly. And compared to the Gen 2, you could see how much bigger it is. Yeah, it's a massive improvement and a massive uh, di uh, difference. So it can handle three times the torque. So no more uh, clutch assemblies going out. So for number five, um, the chainring options are expanded and it seems like a much better system. Uh, this is the old Gen 1 system where you had the chainring, you put it on there and that's it. Uh, the Gen 2, however, has this adapter ring that's on the motor. And the way it works is you have a three ring system where you have you, you mount the chain ring. It's like a little spacer thing that you put in there and then the cover that locks it in. Um, so that's kind of how it works. And then you also have, these are, these look like pizza boxes, but they're not, I'm just, I think I'm just hungry. These are chain ring boxes. So that's how they come. So they come in a 36, a 40, a 42, a 50, and a 38. So 50, 42, 40, 38, 36. I've heard from the grapevine. Um, I've heard this, this is a rumor. I don't know if it's true or not, but a 32 and a 34, two chain rings are also coming. But again, don't hold me to it. I'm not sure if it's, if it's coming or not, but this is what I've heard. So the Gen 2 is using a CAN bus protocol um, to communicate. Uh, you can see it, like the wiring harness. Uh, this is actually the speed sensor. This is the wiring harness. Um, the speed sensor is shaped different, differently. It's like a trapezoid. And then you can see right here on the main wiring harness, uh, it's like a five point shape. Um, it's oddly shaped, but yeah, that's the shape for the display. Um, so this plug is used for CAN bus exclusively. Also, generally, when uh, when CAN bus is used in different kits, uh, generally it means that you know the manufacturers are restricting so that you have to use their battery so they can lock the system down. But CYC thankfully has not done that, so you can use any battery that you want with the kit. Numero siete, advanced display options. So there's two new display options for the Gen 2. First one is SW102T. It looks exactly the same as the previous generation SW102, but it's not. Um, it, ha it is 72 volt compatible and has a color screen instead of a black and white screen. So the second option is the Intuition display. Uh, it looks really nice. It feels really premium. Um, this display has a couple unique features where it's compatible with Find My, so if your bike ever gets stolen, you can track it down and beat up the guy that stole it from you. Uh, I wouldn't do that, I would call the cops, but yeah. Um, this display is super nice and I'm excited about using this one. I'm going to make a full video uh, on the details and how to use this display. Um, but yeah, this is a nice option. Number 8. That's the power rating and the voltage. Um, the Photon Gen 2 is compatible up to 72 volts, uh, which means at peak peak, you can get up to 3000 watts of power when the Gen 1 was at 2000 watts of power. That's not a sustainable power limit. That's obviously just spurts of it, but it can get up to there with the right battery and with the right voltage and the right amp discharge. Um, but it is still uh, rated at 750 watts um, and safe to go up to 2000 watts of power. Um, so it's a much uh, more powerful motor just because you can go up on the voltage and it is still rated at 110 newton meters per torque. Okay, so that wraps up this video. For the next video, I'm gonna put this on a bike and test it out. Until next time, see you guys.